Hey guys, Oz Grills here, and today we're going to show you how to stream your Xbox or Streamlabs OBS without a capture card on a Mac. Let's do it. Alright guys, first things first about this channel is we do Streamlabs OBS tutorials, OBS tutorials, we do Twitch tutorials such as customizing your Twitch channel, how to raid, and we also do graphic design videos such as how to make your own sub badges and emotes for free and how to upload them. We have a, a podcast called Talking Corner where we go over ways you can grow your channel and also just have a good time. So if those things tickle your fancy, hit that subscribe button, put a like on this video. Anyway, let's get to it. All right guys, here I am on a Mac that I got from work. Uh, a bit different, I don't usually use a Mac, but we've had a lot of comments in my other videos for um, how to stream without a capture card that it's about using a Mac that I thought I'd get one from work and see how we go So anyway, so here I am in Streamlabs OBS um, I've added in a webcam obviously and a mic so you can see Me and hear me and I've added the display capture which is going to be crucial for Setting this up so the display capture will capture your screen and what you need to do is go to a website called onecast.me it should be up There is there and go to download and then we go down click here to download the latest version of one car so once it downloads you know how it is on a mac you drag it into the applications and then you install so it's going to tell you how to connect it to your xbox so the main thing you need to do is make sure your xbox and your laptop or your non-laptop Mac are connected on the same network. You need to go into your Xbox. As we'll show you here. I've just got a smaller version. I've already connected my Xbox to it, as you can see. And you go to settings, go to devices and streaming, and then go to device connections. Go down to only from profile signed in on this Xbox. And then what you're going to do is go back to OneCast and hit connect and then sign in on your Xbox account. And then it'll bring up the screen. So as you see, the screen here is showing the Xbox as it is. I'm moving this on my controller and you can load up your games. Simple as that. Actually a lot better quality than I thought. So to get this to go streaming, what you need to do, go back to home. What you need to do to get this to go streaming is so go back to your Streamlabs OBS, hit go live down the bottom right here, and then that'll bring you up on your Twitch, your mixer, you know, whatever you're streaming from. Then what you're gonna do is just go back to your one cast, make it big screen, make it full screen, and leave it up, and then play on your monitor as normal and just monitor your chat on like a phone or a tablet and away you go. One of the big things to take from this is make sure in Streamlabs OBS that your video capture device is above your display capture source. So it will show up above the display capture in stream. So leave the display capture on the screen but you want your overlays as well. If you have overlays, put them above display capture and your video capture device above the display capture too. Um, I do have a tutorial on a basic setup for Streamlabs with overlays um, and it's a bit outdated now but still check it out, see how you go with that. Um, really, it's pretty simple to do. I'm glad that I've done this video because so many people wanted it for Mac and it's actually very simple. I actually quite like it. Um, yeah, it's very smooth, smoother than I thought, thought and this laptop's pretty old. So give it a go guys. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Let me know in the comments below. Um, yeah, thanks. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video, and hopefully, you can do it on your Mac because uh, you know it's quite a good program and it seems to run very smoothly. So, once again, guys, if you like the video, please give it a like, share it to someone you know with a Mac who's having trouble streaming with from their Xbox, or someone who streams directly from the Xbox and has a Mac and they could do this easily and add overlays to their stream. Make sure you subscribe to this channel, guys. This is my 51st video. Um, we've got plenty of content out there for streamers, and I'd love it if you guys could sub and just show some support, and that would be amazing. Anyway, guys, hope you have an awesome day, and I'll see you next time.